Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be showing you guys some Ultra League battles with one of my main teams, which is Gyarados, Abomasnow, and and Amphigos. We will be getting a really good score. We will be trying to hit 10-0 with this team, and this will be part one. We will be getting five wins with this team. So watch at the end because the battles are really cool. If you guys do enjoy, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications on. And with that being said, let's get on to today's video. For the first round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Giratina. So this should be a really good start for us, but since I don't have double moves for Aqua Tail plus Crunch or Aqua Tail plus Outrage, this is an even matchup since Giratina is just such a strong Pokemon. He is very tanky and he has such a high attack stat, so this is an even matchup although we are doing super effective damage once again both of us are at half health aqua tail is also doing barely any damage since water types are going to be resisted by those dragon types but the play that i did here was that i over farmed to one and a half for my first aqua tail to make it look like i was charging up to a crunch second one and then second i instantly went for it because Aqua Tail barely takes away any energy right when you throw in a charge move. So the second one should be crunch. That's what pro that's probably what my opponent thought, but it wasn't, so he did use all of his shields. And I do get a really nice farm down with my Obama Snow as well. I sadly will have to use the shield here. Since I do want to preserve my Obama Snow's life. My my Obama Snow's health. So we do get really good energy. We have like two weather balls charged up, but my opponent does make a swap out into Melmetal. This is an even style once again. Amphigos is such a strong Pokemon. He has good health and good attack stats. I really like Zap Cannon for Amphigos, although it, it takes like four, like six, five or six tries to get to that Zap Cannon, five or six volt switches to get to that zap cannon zap cannon will literally one shot any so many pokemon and he can withstand some attacks so you will be able to get to those zap cannons like with that mel metal he just would stand he just withstanded two rock slides but he is going to go down soon and my opponent's final pokemon is a swamp rate. and once again you guys will see why this team is so great Obama Snow will come in. He will throw in the energy ball. I do have double moves, weather ball, and energy ball since Obama Snow is also a good Pokemon. Weather ball, energy ball does go through and it does one shot him with full HP. Good game to my opponent. For the second round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Scizor. Once again, this is an an even start but i do have a slight advantage or because aqua tail will be doing more neutral damage and it does charge up faster but bullet punch is also both of us are going to be doing not very effective damage with our fast moves since dragon is resisted by his steel type and steel types are resisted because gary does his body type my opponent does throw in a, a, a charge move right here and we will not we won't be able to shield or we don't have to shield because it won't be doing lots of damage we will be able to survive he did actually throw in an iron head and we are resisting steel types once again so that did do not very effective damage but it did get us to half health or a bit lower than half health so my opponent did use one shield there he was about to faint and i am going to mirror that shield and perhaps go for the farm down if i do go for the farm down i can use it as shield baits Aquatel is mainly used, Gyarados at the front is mainly used for the shield, uh, to get opponent shield, I forgot what that was called, to, or you can use it for shield baits or shield pressures, and then Abomasnow is also the finisher and Amphros is also the finisher. My opponent does make a swap out into Gardevoir, since he does only have one shield left, I am going to make a swap out into Abomasnow. Abomasnow is such a strong Pokemon that his charge move charge up super fast with Powder Snow. My first Weather Ball does go in and Weather Ball is also such a strong Ice type move, so we probably will be doing lots of damage against him. Once the Weather Ball does go through, I am going to make a swap out into Amphigos, so I can get ahead on energy for my Amphigos and, go to, and get to that Zap Cannon. So he is two shots to Volt Switch, I think, or three shots, 
and we will be getting lots of energy from this so we do have one shield left we are going to use that final shield since we do want to get to that zap cannon even against the swamp rate elect electric types are resisted by swamp rate because of his ground type uh, a zap cannon will get him half more than half health like below half health so even with full hp my opponent's final Pokemon is a Machamp, and as you guys see, Zap Cannon will instantly one-shot him, allowing us to win the second round. Good game to my opponent. For the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Giratina. Giratina is a Dragon and Ghost-type Pokemon, so once again, this we, we had the same start, so this is uh, an even matchup. But Giratina just has such a stronger defense and attack stat than Gyarados, so he may actually win the one-on-one. -on -one. I did decide to shield there. I didn't know why. I wouldn't have shielded, but he did decide to throw in an Ancient Power, and that was good that I shielded because Ancient Power is a Rock type charge move. Rock types are super effective against Flying types, so that would have done a really good amount of damage. He did fall for the shield bait, and he did shield my Aqua Tail. I am going to do the same strat charge it up to one and a half and then charge up to my aqua tail this may or may not get a shield off it does not but uh, we are doing really good damage he has one hp before he does faint and he does actually faint us he does throw in a charge room actually and i am going to make a swap out into my obama snow after my guillotine does faint since <clears throat> electric types are resisted by dragon types so my opponent does make a swap out into Togekiss. Togekiss is a fairy and flying type Pokemon, so where they ball will be doing a lot of super effective damage against him. I am going to just throw in a, throw in a bunch of water balls, but they do have to watch out for those aerial laces, ancient powers, and flamethrowers. Mostly all of Togekiss's attacks do super effective damage against my Bombus now, but the Togekiss does go down and he and his final Pokemon is that Oh he does make a swap out into Giratina. He was one HP, so his final Pokemon is actually a Swampert. Once again, Weather Ball does go in. I did only throw two powder snows and let's see if this Weather Ball will one shot him. And it does actually one shot him and it does allow us to win the third round. Good game to our opponent. For the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Togekiss. So this is a very bad start for us. Since Togekiss is a fairy type Pokemon and Dragon Breath will be doing not very effective damage against him. So I do decide to swap out into Ampharos as my safe swap. Ampharos will be doing super effective damage to him as well. And he does actually get his charge move first before I do get my zap cannon. Uh, Togekiss is fairy and flying type once again. And electric types are super effective against flying types. So we are doing really good damage with him. Obama Snow will also be doing super effective damage against him. So uh, my zap cannon does go through right here. It may or may not go through. Oh, he did not. He did decide not to shield, and he does make a swap out into Jirachi. Jirachi is a steel and psychic type Pokemon, so I am going to make a swap out into my Gyarados since I will be able to resist those steel type attacks. And my Bumasnow against that against that Jirachi, his ice type moves and his gust type moves will be resisted because of that steel type, and steel type will be doing super effective damage against my Bumasnow. So that I did allow that doom desire to go through doom desire is a steel type charge move and steel types are once again resisted because of gyarados's body type we that aqua tail did go through my opponent did decide not to shield another aqua tail does go through here if my my opponent still has two shields left and we may see a shield we do see a shield he does have one shield left but I do have to watch out because I am going to let my Gyarados go. But since I do have a a Weather Ball ready, I think. Oh no. This could be bad because Weather Ball will also be doing Navi effect damage. I do not know if it will faint him. It's just who gets to charge move faster. Doom Desire does charge up very fast for Jirachi. So we do get a pre-fire off. Weather Ball does go through. Before he does get that confusion off, we do get the weather ball. 
we are halfway to getting to my second worthy ball we do just have to watch out and we do get to that second worthy ball before he does get to his doom desire worthy ball does go through since he does have zero shields left and he reveals his final pokemon which is a swamper once again you guys know what will happen if i do use what energy ball so i'm going to make a so i am just going to charge up to my energy ball energy ball is once again a grass type charge move and grass types are super effective against both body types and ground types so energy ball will go through wall one shot him and it does allow us to win this third round good game to my opponent Alright guys, for the fifth and final round, my opponent's first Pokemon is an Ampharos, so this is a terrible slight for us. Ampharos is an electric type Pokemon, he does have electric type moves, and electric types will be doing super effective damage against both water types and flying types, and my only Pokemon that will resist those electric type moves while doing a good amount of damage back is my Abomasnow, so I did have to reveal my Abomasnow early. My opponent does decide to throw in a shield early. So he probably may have a Pokemon that will be doing, that Abomasnow will be countering. So my Weather Ball does go through here and it will, and, it, and my opponent did decide not to shield. Weather Ball is going to be doing neutral damage once again, since it is an ice type move. Fairy types and, and psychic types do not resist my Weather Ball. So second Weather Ball does go through. We are just spamming these Weather Balls and we, got, and we are getting a lot of shields off. Uh, I am not going to shield here since I do want my Ampharos to get a lot of energy. So I let my Abomas Snow go down. I do have two shields left. I am going to make a swap into Ampharos once again since I do want to charge up to my Zap Cannon. And we are getting a really good energy boost from that Gardevoir. Two shields left and he does have zero left. My opponent does make a swap out into Matchup. Matchup is an only fighting type Pokemon, so Zap Cannon will be doing a lot of neutral damage against him. He does have full HP, and let's see how much damage it does. It does instantly faint him once again. Zap Cannon is a strong electric type move, so you guys should try him out if you guys do use any electric type Pokemon that are capable of learning Zap Cannon. So electric versus electric, we are going to be doing Navi effective damage. He is only throwing Thunder Punches. Thunder Punches is a Thunder Punch is a weak electric type charge move. I think it is mainly used for shield raids or spamming. But it is since it is doing Navi effective damage, I'm guessing he does not have double moves for any of the charge moves like Power Jump or Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon, although it will be doing Navi effective damage, it does instantly faint him, allowing us to win the 5th round win. Good game to my opponent. Alright guys, so that will be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications on. It will really help the channel so much. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, once again, comment down below what you think of, of this team with Gyarados, Obama Snow, and Ampharos. And if you guys are going to try this... If you guys do enjoy once again, please, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications on. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.